Well, good morning, everyone, and thank you for joining us for Village Halls Week 2021. How wonderful it would be to see you in person. But sadly, this year, that's not possible. So let's hope for happier, healthier, and more face-to-face -face engagement in future. That said, Village Halls Week was always designed to be primarily an online celebration of the key part played by village halls as vital hubs for community life, the length and breadth of rural England. But much more than this, Village Halls Week is critically also a celebration of the people, the 80,000 plus volunteers who make it possible for these local assets to provide safe, welcoming spaces. Spaces that build and sustain local relationships and which provide the bedrock for local action and mutual aid. Civil society enacted and at its best. Not long after joining Acre as its executive director, I first met Lord Gardner, our keynote speaker. And I'd like to take this opportunity to thank him for his involvement in today's event and for his enduring and consistent support, both for village halls and for the Acre network that supports those who run them. Thank you. It's really good to know that we have an advocate and friend in high places. It has, as Lord Gardner said, been a tough year for everyone, including village hall committee members, many of whom have been self-isolating whilst also worrying about how and when they will be able to open halls up again for those who re rely on their support and the services they host. And also how to do this safely within the spirit of rapidly changing government regulations. And I've been so incredibly impressed with how colleagues within Acre and across the Acre network have been able to respond to the changing regulations and the burgeoning inquiries with timely and helpful advice and regular briefings and guidance. Acre members report well over a 90% increase in demand for their services during the pandemic, a trend also experienced by Acre nationally. One of the more positive developments that have occurred as a result of the coronavirus lockdowns has been the emergence of a new cohort of volunteers a broader range of often younger people. So one of the challenges for us all now is how to retain and build on that next generation of volunteers. And what does that mean for the Acre network in the way we deliver our services in future? Something for us to consider further during this week and beyond. So as we look ahead to a more positive future with the gradual reopening of society, I hope that you will find this Village Halls Week and all the online events and activities that are taking place across rural England, both inspirational and supportive. Collectively, can I therefore thank those who have worked so hard amongst the Acre Network here in the East of England and elsewhere to ensure that this year's events will be really special and memorable. Thanks too to our sponsors, Utility Aid, Norris and Fisher, Allied Westminster and our supporters, the National Rural Touring Forum and the Centre for Sustainable Energy, all of whom will be hosting sessions during the week. Deborah Clark, who leads on our village halls work here at Acre, will now tell you a bit more about what to expect during the week. But before I hand over to her, a quote from my colleague, Leah Swain in Yorkshire, which for me neatly sums up what's unique and special about England's network of 10,000 village halls. She says, for me, village halls are all about my head and my heart. My heart says they are essential places for people to come together, places to have fun and celebrate, places to grieve or share common interests. My head says they're equally important for the local economy places for businesses like nurseries to thrive, places for people to exercise. Village halls can be the keystone to a community. Have an enjoyable and inspiring week.
Thank you.